In the United States, one in seven kids faces neglect. Do you think this is serious? No. You see how dumb that was? Honesty is the best policy. And while these terrible mothers might think they're above the law, these four cases show that there are severe legal consequences for failing to properly care for your children. On March 7, 2023, at around 6.45 p.m., police received a call about a young boy crying outside an apartment. When they arrived, they found a five-year-old boy by himself, showing signs of being neglected or abandoned. Yeah. Hi, uh, did you call? Yes, I did. Hey, y'all, come here. What happened now? There was a little kid um, saying help. Um, um, a little what? A little kid um, next door saying help. Um, my mom. My mommy got Mommy got help. Somebody help me, please. Were they outside, inside? Um, the kid was outside. The um, kid was outside? How old was the kid? He's, he was like five. Okay. Was, did they bring him back inside or? Um, a, a person a came. A person came. In there. Concerned for the distressed child, his neighbors called the police for help. The officers then spoke with the boy to find out where his parents were. What's wrong? I want my mommy and she went to the store and I would not see my mommy. Hello. She's not you, my dad. Police. Police department. Hello. She went to the store. Police department. Where'd they go? What store did they go to? The what? Apple. The Apple store? It, it's close to my house. Yeah, it's right down the street. Yeah. How long have you been Keith Foster, South Jackson. Yeah, that's my name. 301 and the Where's he at? Foster's dad? Yeah, she's Does he live with you? Yeah. Did your mom and dad both go to the store together? Your dad's at your papa's house? Do you know the phone number there? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Where's the phone? You have a phone in here? No. No? I, That's I saw your phone, but it's dead. Okay. So your mom left you, went to the Big Apple store? How long has she been gone? You don't know? How old are you? Five. Five. What's your name? People been breaking into our house, but... People been breaking into your house? Yeah. And they messing up our house. The suspect, identified as 21-year-old Kana Matthews, tried to explain to the police why she left her child alone. They expressed their concern about her lack of awareness. You left me for you. What happened? Did you the door open? Was yelling for you? Two and The neighbor's called. Why are you right across the street? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's Kana live? Right across the street. Why aren't you taking with you? I just went over there real quick. Do you have an ID? Yes, sir. Um, What's well, across the street? Literally across the street. Right here. Across the street. Can you come over here real quick? This guy, babe. Can you come over here real quick? I can't find my freaking ID. You need my ID. The police is here. Good. What was the rate yes. of the I can't find my ID. MD. Sorry. I'll get your info. Look, how old are you? 21. You don't know your social? No, sir. Listen, I... I gotta keep it. You gotta get off the phone. I'm sorry. You gotta get off I'm the sorry. phone. I'm sorry. All right, well, he said I gotta get off the phone. 
Oh, yeah. Police officers spoke with the suspect's mother, emphasizing the seriousness of the situation. Kana's disregard for her son's well-being endangered his safety. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. All right. Your grandma? Yes, sir. And she was over with you. Um, yeah, but for yeah, for a second, she only came over here for a second. Where do you live at? I'm, I live on the south side. I don't even live on the east side. I'm out here visiting some friends. So where were you at? At her, at her friend's house, real quick. Where's the friend live? Right across the street. I don't know. Right, address. right out back. Yeah, literally. Well, we're trying to figure all this out. Cause we, got, we, we got a five-year-old kid left home alone. Oh, he well, was only for a couple seconds. Well, well we don't know. That's what we're just, oh, just trying to figure yeah, out. That's all it I'm takes. I'm sorry. I mean, we, I understand what you're no, saying. What happens if you'd have walked out? I understand. Listen. I understand. I I told him all this. I said, I'll be right back. He literally plays the game all day. He was in there playing the game. I said, I'll be right back. I'm about to go over there to your grandma real, real quick. That was it. So do you think this is serious no, or not no. serious? Yeah, it's serious. It's very serious. It's very serious. <laughs> it's very just, serious. Just, just I just never right. thought do you think you should be the five-year-old no, home alone? No. But and why you do it? It was for a second. I didn't think it was. Not only is it for a second, second, then you come back in and you're smelling like weed. So... You leave your five-year-old home alone so you can go smoke weed, and then you come back, and then you yell at him. I didn't yell at him. Yeah, you did. I said, what'd you do, or whatever. Anyways, I could run the tape back. It doesn't matter. The point is, is he's crying with the door open. He was wandering crying. Around, wandering around out here. Where, come here. Wandering around out here, wondering he was, he was where crying. you're at. Why would you scare mommy? So, is he your only child? What happened? I mean, come on. Leaving a five year old home alone. Right? And what happened? You got the scale on the table, the five year old sitting next to your papers. What'd you say? Your shoe back up smelling like weed. There's roaches. I mean, come on. And now you're telling me you don't know your social. Do you have a warrant? No, sir. Tell me now, we're gonna run you in full picture. Say that again. You shouldn't? No, sir. Mm -hmm. well, why would you cry? I asked you if you want to go with me. You said no, you want to stand for the game. So why did you work too long? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, like what? Police also found a digital scale and rolling papers inside the home and noticed that Matthew's clothes smelled heavily of smoke and not cigarette smoke. I said I'll be right back. I said I, I said yes. <laughs> Is that YouTube? Mm -hmm. yeah, my kids, I don't my kids be watching that dumb shit too. All the time, it's on my nerves. It's me crazy. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube, I don't let them watch it at my house because some of the stuff that it's crazy. It's, it's, it's annoying. Like, yeah. It's annoying. Like, one day I woke up. Yeah. Mm -mm. One day I woke up and, and it was like three o'clock in the morning and I heard and they all oh, they didn't fell asleep but it's still on YouTube or they was watching some lady. Sometimes he's like eating some chips or eat and eating pickles Girl, and stuff. So all you hear is the crunching noise, yeah. and it drove me crazy. And I'm like, oh yeah, y'all. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then some of the stuff that they've been watching just ain't even. No, turn that yeah, off. No. You can't watch YouTube. You gotta put on Disney or something. Yeah, Buy yeah. something on Netflix. Yeah, that's horrible. That YouTube is horrible, oh, yeah, especially like the YouTube. stuff the kids watch. Right, man. right. It's it's like, right. Like, right. Change that. Yeah. Did you know that R. Kelly came out with a new song? That's like twenty minutes long. From jail? Yeah. It's basically telling the truth <laughs> about everything that happened. Like he had, he ain't say he ain't do the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Are you Keith Senior? Yeah. Here's the deal, all right? She was taken into police custody due to past legal issues, such as missing a DUI court date. During this time, her son stayed with his father, Keith Sr. So, you understand what's going on, right? Yes, but... I can't help you, Lawrence. Oh. She'll be all right. Yeah, she'll probably get that tomorrow morning. At least it's not Friday. 
stuff yeah, like this anyway because of everything well, else that's going tomorrow, on. Right? Hmm? They should go to court tomorrow, right? Yeah, they'll probably ring her. they video ring her. What's this tomorrow? Okay. Wednesday? Wednesday. I think they, Wednesday. Wednesday. I think they do red videos. Come on. Come on. Come on. You gotta hang the phone up. We're gonna handcuff you. Don't make it worse Hello? than it has to be. Okay. Stop. Call your mom. You hear me? Alright. I ain't going to heaven yet. He's gonna say, Yeah, you talk to me. Oh, my child. I love you. You'll be home. Don't worry about it. Following her actions, Tana Matthews was taken into custody and officially charged with child endangerment. In addition, she faces an outstanding warrant for a DUI dating back to November 2020. Matthews failed to appear in court for an OVI charge, where it was specified that her blood alcohol level was not supposed to exceed 0.17. On December 7th, 2022, an officer responded to a situation near Campbell Elementary Middle School, where a baby was found in a car without a proper car seat, endangering the child's safety. The suspect, identified as Lucille Calloway, 69, was there to pick up two other children and confessed to not using the correct car seat for the baby. So here's what we got going on. We were called here due to a concern from a staff member that observed this female right here with the four-month-old and no car seat or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's a concern. Okay. So we get here and she acknowledged that no, she does not have a car seat and that she was transporting the child in the front seat with a seatbelt on. Still not okay. Okay. So Children's Services were contacted, Mahoney County and Cuyahoga County. Yeah, I spoke to Miranda. Okay. I haven't spoken to Mrs. Zeroki yet. Okay, I just got off the phone with the supervisor from Mahoney County. They are en route. They are going to be taking custody of the four-month-old, and the five- and four-year-old are going to go Why in custody. Why would you do all of that? And I got car seats for these kids. Okay, then my if you have to, I understand had, that. She was sick. The baby is sick. This is my cousin I, that I, you're talking about. Do you even understand? Look, I, I work you, at what, a counseling agency. Okay, I then you would, then you would, then you would, then you would, during my sessions, then you would understand. I could not be interrupted. You would understand our concern. So the thing is, the person that normally picks up had the car seats in their car. They had an appointment and stuff like that, and so they couldn't kick, pick the kids up at the normal time that they needed to be. I called, I met with Miss uh, Zor this morning when I dropped off Aristotle this morning, and I explained to her that my mother was going to have to pick up Aristotle and them. Could you please have them ready? Because she cannot get out the car because she has an infant that she's going to be having to bring with her. You know, um, regardless of a car seat or whatever, she can't lift the car seat and all that and transport the baby like I probably, you know, like I can. The officer told Nikki Calloway, the child's mother and second suspect, about the school staff's worries for the baby's safety. Nikki defended her mother, explaining the situation that led her to neglect safety rules. And stuff like that. So my mother gets up, gets the baby dressed, ten tail comes down the street a block, and picks up the kids and wants to go back home so she can tend to an infant and take care of the kids as she normally does every day. She takes care of the kids because they're dropped off to her at my home and she takes care of the kids at the home. Okay. Okay. So the fact that he forgot to leave the car seats so that she could transport the kids is why we are where we are right now. That's still because not an both it's cars, not, it's not a good enough both excuse. Both cars have car seats for the kids. Okay, yeah. You that's, know what I'm that, saying? That's, that's, still not, so that's still not an excuse. So he couldn't be reached to bring them back. Well, then, then she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have, shouldn't have left the house. She shouldn't have left the house with a newborn and child. And let me tell you something, and they would have said something about the kids being left I, I would rather I would rather have a phone like call that. saying a child wasn't picked up from school rather than having a four-month-old being transported in a motor vehicle without a car seat. Well, I'm about to call Miranda. You go ahead. I just got the phone with Miranda, and Miranda strictly told me to not let you take custody of any of these children. And that you were supposed to go home and go get formula and a change of clothes. Is that is that accurate? No, that's not what Miranda told me. Well, I just spoke to the supervisor on the phone, well, and she I'm said that they spoke to you. Okay, well that's what we're doing today. What is wrong? What is your problem? I don't have a problem. Uh, Mr. Young, whatever your name Officer is. Officer Young. The, yes. the the issue is is what but we have going on. This is horrible. It is like, horrible. My this... mom is not like she's not. She's a grandmother. She I takes care of kids all day, okay. every day. I'm pretty sure she did what she thought was securing the baby at that time. That's it's not okay. Like you are just 
reckless. No, no, this is reckless. No, Driving with a newborn are. inside a car is reckless without you a car are. seat. That is reckless. It, that's okay. That's not okay. That's is a mess. I don't understand this man here. No. I do. Okay, so then it's not. Then you would understand it's reckless. And I get me. You would understand it's reckless. Understand that. But what I'm telling you is that it's not nothing where she purposely just was trying to. And it's she's neglect. Trying to be helpful. It's neglect. She's trying to be helpful. Helpful in the wrong way. No, it's neglect is you taking this baby and no, his I'm only family. No, right I'm making now. sure this kid is taken care of. We're his only family. So what are you talking about? You're, you're taking you're not, care of him. You're not going to take care of him like I take care of him. I'm his cousin. How do you I'm know I'm not? I'm his cousin and I, I love have a six-month-old at home. Trust me, I Whatever. know this is reckless. This Whatever. is reckless. Okay, you don't, you, need, you don't need to raise horrible. your voice. No, I'm not no, horrible. I do need so to, because you thing, don't understand. Thing, I do understand because I'm a father. I no, do understand. that don't make you a good person. Yeah, I'm 70 years old. I know. You're 69. Your wisdom. Your wisdom. Well, well, you well give me 60, uh, 70. Police officers told the suspects that the children would be handed over to Mahoning County Children's Services. They also warned them about the legal consequences of their actions. Well, the, the, the newborn is going to be going in custody of Mahoney County Children's Services. Let, let them do what they've got to do. Ma'am, you are not going to be leaving with that child. Ma'am, you are not going to be leaving with that child. Go I'm on the other side. I'm putting him in my car. You're not. That's what I can do. No. You will not go in my car, and I did not give you permission. You don't have to give me permission. I You're did. obstructing. You're going to go to jail. You're going to get arrested for obstructing. He needs to rest in his car seat. He was, Back up. Oh, now I'm you want to put him in a car Miranda. seat? Well, why don't you just wait till that children service? He's always had a car seat, sir. Excuse me? You're going to be placed under arrest. Why are you arresting my mother? Child endangering. What, what did I do? Child You're endangering. Under You're under arrest for child endangering. Just go ahead and put your, so hand hand put your hands behind your back. Stop that. Don't hand and pep her. She is Move sick. away. Move away. She cannot move do away. that. She is move, sick. Move you away. You want to make a matter but you're sick. Move. I know. Ma'am, you're on the verge of getting arrested. Let me call. Can I just Ma'am. Y'all are some racist. Ma'am. Move, uh, move back. For real, you're move racist. Uh-uh, get your hands on no, me. No, you're going to go I over there. I touched you back. For real. The situation between the mother and the police officer became tense. She wanted to take her baby home, but the officer told her that she would be detained. You don't even have this car seat in the right way. I, you didn't give me a chance to strap stop, him in. Stop, you're messing There's a with child right Hey, stop. stop! You don't f***ing holler at me. Let go! Child daddy. right here, you're going to go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. I don't get, get it with you. Get back. I, oh, I get know back. not. Nikki, let, don't do that. I know you're not. Let you are a racist ass. Yes, it is, but leave him alone. You got your Get away from me. You're not, you're not coming inside this school. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna go to jail. Go. To jail. Go. I will get you out. You're, you're not, you are not coming inside this school. I'm not coming into school. Don't worry about it. And why are you taking him in there? For the safety of the child. Your is the one that needs to be guarded from. For real. This is ridiculous. I don't understand this. I don't understand you and your parenting, because apparently you need to learn about it. During her arrest, the mother continuously accused the police officers of misconduct. Place your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. What is she doing? You're Don't under you arrest. Do you're that. under arrest. I'm not doing nothing Stop. to you. Stop. You're under arrest. What is wrong Stop. with you? Stop. Do what not, is wrong do with not you? Resist. What are you arresting me for? Obstructing. I am Stop. not. Stop. Stop resisting. You're you going to go down to the ground. From me. You're going to go down to the ground. Oh, my Stop. God. What Stop. is wrong with you? Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, my God. Stop, Stop it. You don't Stop. have to do that. Stop. What is wrong with you? You're going to jail. I'm, I'm about to. Oh you're going to jail God. for obstructing. Stop. You are going to get Stop. sued. Stop. Now you're getting charged with resisting. You are going to get sued. Now you're going to jail for resisting. For real, too. this is crazy. Stop. I deal with kids every day, and you're fucking crazy. Stop. You're going to jail. Oh my God. Oh, you wait till I see a judge. This is crazy. You should not have a bag. Wait a minute. Here, put my phone Stop. in the car. Stop. I will. My things are slipping. Here, I got your phone. Here. 107 log 247. Here, take this thing. Place under arrest for obstructing and resisting arrest. You're a liar. You are a liar if you if I ain't never seen one. 
I ain't been ever in jail like this is crazy. Because I placed the baby in a car seat in no, the car. You try getting in the way of when we're making an no, arrest. No, I didn't. And you're not listening when I, I did tell not you to get do. in the way. I asked you, why are you arresting my mother? You don't listen. Police officers informed the child services representative about the situation with the children. They also shared these updates with school officials. Hello. Hi. Hi are you with Children's Services? I'm um, Ohio Mentor. I work in conjunction with my own kind of Children's Services. Very good. Children are inside. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Let me, I guess, put this back in the car then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You're going to be taking custody of the two, the two children? Oh, okay. That's what you guys want? As far as... Well, you're in junction with Cuyahoga County for the two children. Cuyahoga County. I'm just trying to see exactly what's going on. That's um, all. well, Grandma's under arrest and Mom's under arrest. Grandma's under arrest for child endangering, for transporting a four-month-old in a car without a car seat and holding the child and placing it in a front seat with a seatbelt. Then Mom interfered during our arrest and tried to take the child and put the child in her car when she was directly ordered not to. So she's under arrest for obstructing and resisting arrest. And grandma's gonna go for child endangering. That's where we're at. Because they did say uh, someone from Ohio Mentor yes. was coming to get the two children. Yes. Then Mahoney County Children's Services is coming to get the newborn. Mahoney County Children's Services is coming to get the baby? Yes. And I'm getting R1 and Aristotle. Okay. Correct. So you're you're from I'm Karen Paradise and the social worker here from Yes, Ohio okay. from Ohio. Mental. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you have your ID on you, ma'am? I can uh, I'm licensed? Yes. My driver's Oh that's fine. You got your name right there? Yeah, so I can scan it. Tawana Warren. Oh so yes, yes. We were told about it. So mom went to jail too. Yeah, she tried fighting. She tried to take the kid and was going to put the kid in her car and leave with the kid. And I had to grab the kid out of the car and she wouldn't let go of the kid while I was trying to hold on to it. Then once we put her mom under arrest, she tried to interfere in between. So she got charged with the obstructing for that. Then she was physically trying to pull away when we were putting her in handcuffs. So she got a resisting arrest as well. So. Merry Christmas. Man. Yeah. Gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Social workers and police officers talked about the children's situation and well-being. The infant was taken to a hospital for immediate care. Is she the biological of this little guy? No, no, she no. Is okay, not. I didn't know that part. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, it, but he was it, kind of was wrapped in that blanket, like it was kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> so they said he's. One, yeah. Yeah. Grandma yeah. said he's sick. Yeah, yeah he, he's, you could tell. Did they take him to an urgent care? He probably is, not. I feel like he's warm and clearly yeah. I, mean, I know. I mean, I know RSV is going around pretty bad. Yeah. 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 Suspects Nikki Calloway faced charges for resisting arrest and obstructing official business, while Lucille Calloway was charged with child endangerment. Children's Services took custody of the baby, and the other two children were placed in foster care. In April of 2022, the Brunswick Police Department received a report about a child left alone in a running car outside a Dollar Tree store. Responding with urgency, they sent an officer to assess the situation. And, and I don't know if it's just me being overprotective or if I'm just crazy. Okay, what's going on? This lady left an infant child alone in a vehicle. And when I say infant, this baby's month old, alone inside a running vehicle. And she went inside the Dollar Tree. Officer Ronald Diamicus arrived at the scene to check on the child. After a witness explained the situation, he figured out what to do next. Sweeter than overheat. Just hey. left the kid here like it was nothing, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna go find her. Just yeah. hang out.
I was originally parked right here. Yeah. And I watched her get out. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. And then I thought it was a joke. The witness and police talked about how to keep the child safe. The police also asked the witness about the mother's identity and age. And she, she wasn't young either, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's better to keep this. Start. Where'd she go? He's going to save a lot. 25, she went into the Dollar Tree. I wonder if I should keep this closed for the baby. I, I opened it. Okay. Because he went around and opened that door, yeah. so I opened it up to make sure the baby was breathing and everything. Yeah, we got the keys there. But it was running and stuff. They had the car running. Hey. Does it look like he's got a blanket or anything back there? No. Hi. How old does he look? I mean, I don't know. I young. The, I told the dispatcher. I said he only looked. I, I said I seen him through the window. I said he looks like a few months. Do you want some? I said he, he only looks like a few months young to me, man. I think it's all right for, for yeah. a drink. Look at that. That's crazy, dude. And the lady's not young. I mean, she looks like she knows better than. Like like a sixty-four year old lady in the car. I don't Yeah. Oh trust me, I know. <laughs> oh my god. It'll be a fun day to be a cop today. <laughs> comes back to like a 64 year old. What did she look like? I'll identify her, man. All right. I see her. We'll, we'll wait for her to come out. I see her walk out, but I see her. I'm sure she's in there. I just, I couldn't walk out. It might not be honest. What did she it, look like? It wasn't the, she didn't look 64 to me, bro. What, was, what did looking? she look like? The mother, identified as Kayla Jenkins, faced police questions about why she left her child in an unlocked car. Officer Diamicus told her about the risks, like abduction or dehydration, and the legal consequences she could face. You left your baby in an unlocked car out here while you go into Dollar Tree. What are you doing? She was asleep, so I just ran, ran in you really quick. You can't leave your child out, an infant, in the car. One, it's 55 degrees out with the sun on him. All right, two, that car's unlocked. Anybody could have came and taken that kid and left. All right, you see how dumb that was? Right. Do you have a license on you? The National Safety Council reports that annually, 38 children under the age of 15 perish from heat stroke after being left unattended in a vehicle. Since 1998, every state has experienced at least one such tragic incident. Is the child's father in the picture? Is this your mother's vehicle? What's her contact information? Dad's not in the picture. I'm gonna get Grandma's info. Okay. All right. Your mother's the registered owner of this vehicle. Yeah. What's her phone number? What is going on? You're gonna be needing some paperwork here in a second. So, what is your mother's contact information? Can I know what's going on? You're gonna be getting a ticket for endangering children. So what is your mother's contact information? Why do you need her? In case Medina County Job and Family Services needs to contact her. Why couldn't her just contact me? I live with her. What is her contact information? Phone number for her. What's the child's name? What's that? Jenkins. 
middle lane. What's her birthday? So what, she's one, what is she like, 14 months old? Yeah. I mean, do you think it's smart to leave a 14 year old in a car? Unlocked and running? Regardless if you're in Brunswick or not? What is your mother's phone number? Why can't they just call me? What is your mother's Why can't they just call me? They probably will call you. Did you give that officer your phone number? What's your phone number? Police officers noted discrepancies in the details the suspect provided as the car was registered to a 64-year-old woman. They pressed the woman for more information to clarify the situation. Are you employed? You're currently unemployed? What is your mother's phone number? I don't understand. I'm of age. What is... Do you live with your mother? Yeah. Is your father there? No? Which phone number? It's not even... She's currently unemployed. She doesn't want to give her mother's phone number. You see on the news, baby suffocating in the back of cars, dying because he was kidnapped, all that stuff. I mean, somebody could have just grabbed your car and your gun with your child. All right, Kayla, you're getting charged with endangering children. You have a court date on the uh, citation right here, 41922 at 515 p.m. in Brunswick Mayor's Court. You do have to appear. If you don't appear, it's not a waivable offense. If you don't appear, they're going to put a warrant out for you. Okay. After this, any subsequent offenses of this is a felony. All right. So continue to leave your child in the apartment. Nine months or whatever. very serious thing, all right? It's a first degree misdemeanor. It will be in mayor's court this time. Like I said, do this again, you're going to be a felony, all right? The kid could very easily be kidnapped for that. It's a serious issue, all right? Just make sure you appear in court, all right? If you're contacted by, generally any charge like this, you'll be contacted by JFS. They're going to make sure you're not going to do it again, okay? Make sure you pay attention to the call. Do you have any questions for me? Although the woman hesitated to share her mother's details, the police emphasized the incident's seriousness and explained the legal consequences to her. Do you understand why this is such a big deal? Yeah. Okay. I understand it was an error in judgment and it was just a dumb decision, but that very often leads to the kid stroke in the back of the car or getting kidnapped, right? So really, this is a better outcome than us finding a kid in the back of the car. All right. I understand. You understand? Okay. Police stressed the need for responsible parenting and warned against repeating the mistake. They also told Kayla that the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services, or JFS, might contact her about her child's welfare. Do you have any questions for me? I don't. Um. If you have any questions, call the Brunswick Police Department. Don't leave your kid in the car again, you understand? So what's going to happen is you're going to go to court, you're going to plea, the mayor will give you a sentence, right? Likely for your first offense, it's going to be some type of fine. You can just work out a payment plan, whatever you got to do. No, we just need one more unit. Um, just make sure you don't do this again. I don't want to find your kid somewhere, seriously, right? That's why it's such a big issue. All right. I do take this really seriously. Uh, listen, and I get it, it was an error of judgment. It's a learning experience, but so many times parents will walk away. I just thought she would be okay because the car was running and I was right, right I, there. I understand, but you understand somebody can just grab this kid and go. You're lucky it was an off-duty police officer that found him, all right, instead of somebody who just decided they want a kid, all right? You gotta, you gotta keep an eye on her. It happens, and you, all of a sudden you come out and your kid's gone, then what do you do? There's no cameras here. We don't know where she went. You probably never see her again, you understand? It's a dangerous thing, okay? All right. Get yourself home. Calm yourself down, okay? It's just, it was a mistake. Take care of it, and it's over, all right? Just don't do it again, you understand? I don't want to be looking for your kid everywhere, looking for somebody who kidnaps your kid, you understand? You clearly care about your child. And I'm, 
I don't think you're a bad parent. I think you made a really stupid decision. Just don't make it again. Get it taken care of. All right? All right. What? Why did you want my mother's number? Well, because generally we have a second point of contact for JFS. And if the father's not around, then something like that. So, okay. Put your kid in the car seat. Now imagine if your car was moving two spots over. Right? Good point too. So let's put your kid in the car seat, calm down a little bit, and get yourself home, okay? 25-year-old Kayla Jenkins wasn't arrested, but had to appear in Brunswick's mayor's court on a child endangerment charge. She was fined $330 for leaving her child alone in the car. Give us your thoughts. Do you think a fine was enough? Were the police too lenient by not making an arrest in this case? Let us know in the comments below. On March 4th, 2022, the Indian River County Sheriff's Department was alerted about an unattended infant inside a running car. A concerned citizen reported that the mother was inside an arcade at Sebastian Square Plaza. Hey there. I want to make sure I make contact with the parent inside the arcade, but I don't want to leave the child here by himself. If he's in the arcade, he won't be able to see me parked out here because uh, it's all tinted out. Time for not in distress. Um, VMS was around, they can disregard. Bianca Lockett, identified later as the suspect, returned to her car and faced questioning. She claimed her cousin was watching her baby while she ran a quick errand. Who's your uh, cousin? cousin? Her name is, um, um, I'm just so nervous, Brittany. Where's she at? I don't know. I told her to stay in here with the baby. Where could she have gone? Huh? Where could she have gone? I don't know. She usually be, she usually tell me if she going somewhere so I can stay out here with the baby. She's supposed to be in there with you too? No. She's so How long have you been here? Deputies continued their questioning while the suspect claimed she was only gone for about 10 or 15 minutes. However, the plaza's security footage told a different story. What is your friend or cousin that's supposed to, that was supposed to be staying, staying here with the baby? Brianna. What is it? Brittany. Brittany? Yes. What's her date of birth, you know? She's actually my friend, but I call her my cousin. I don't know it. Okay, do you know where she lives at? I, yeah, I picked her up from off of Schumann. What's her address? I'm not sure. What's your phone number? My number? Her phone number. I don't have a number. So how'd you pick she her up? She don't have a number. Because I call her for her house number. What's her house number? 772. I don't know. She told me that she had to go pay her bills, so I don't know. Pay her bills where? Her um cell phone bill. Where, though? At Metro. Where's, where's Metro around here? Where's Metro? Yeah. There was one down here, but I heard they closed, so I don't know if she went and... Because right, in a minute, I'm going to go in there and review the camera, see how long the kid's been in here. And you said your friend Brittany was supposed to be in the car and she disappeared. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to check the camera as well and see if there was even another female in here. All right. Okay. Because right, that's kind of like child, child neglect. All right. Okay. It was running. It's running right now. Child's mother? Yes, I am. So you're also going to be responsible for the child, right? Yes. So I don't give a shit you had a front player drunk. Why would you leave your kid to do an arcade game? Because somebody else was with me. That's why. Okay. Just hang out. Just hang out. You're not going in the car right now. Why not? Because you're not. Well, I need to. All right. Lee, you're gonna get the video. I gotta talk to one of these ladies that call her quick. What's your mom? Do you have a, a mom that lives close by or anything? She's at work. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna call Brittany real quick. The supposed person that was sitting, that's supposed to be sitting in the car. All right. See what she says. All right. Okay. Do you have a family member that can come here? My mom, she's at work though. Where's your mom? Oh, working? you know, my aunt. I can call my aunt. Okay. All right. I can call my aunt. All right, just give me a second, all right? Can I call my aunt? We'll, we'll, we'll get on that. Just give us a second. When's the last time um, you fed and changed her? Before I came here. Okay. Hey, can you give me a, an address for Brittany? Can you look it up on your phone where you picked her up? An address? I'm not sure what her address I know it's right off the shore. It's right off the home? I just need a back when you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, diapers inside this car anywhere? In the front, front seat. No phone on. Diapers contain a lot. Are you able to get that for me? What? Try I to give me an address for I'm Brittany's. I'm not sure what her address is. It's off the shore. Right. So look, this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna read your Miranda rights, right? Cause I'm gonna start questioning you, all right? 
Officers noted the infant appeared poorly kept and malnourished. The deputy then explained to the suspect the charges she would face for neglecting her child. So what time did you get to here to the arcade? 22 by like, I said I came by 11, then I... 11 a.m.? Yeah, about 11.30. Okay. 11 or 11.30? 11.30. Okay. And then I can't, then I left and went that, um, to um, go get, I left to go to the bank. Bank of America, so you check their cameras to the And then I came back. With which the bank did you go to? Bank of America. Bank of America. Which, which one was that one, though? Right there on five hundred. You know around what time that was? That was that? I'd say about like 12, 30, 12, around 12, 30. Like 12, 12, 12, Did you go inside Bank of America? No, I went to the ATM. Through the ATM? What'd you go do there? I, bought, I got money out. You went to get money out? And then you came right back? Yes. Okay. And then what happened? And that's it. Okay. Do At any point in time, did you pick up this so-called so Brittany Collins? Yes, I've been picked up before I came the first time. Before you came the first yeah, time? And where was she at then? She was at her house. Okay, and you we brought it here? The at her cousin house. I picked up from her cousin house. And, and we came here, and then I played a little bit. I left, went to the bank, and then I came back. Okay, but so you brought it here the first time? Yes, I did. Okay, then the second time, was she still with you? Yes, she was. Long so you time. went to Bank of America? Yes. Brittany was still in the car? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you went inside and played, and Brittany was supposed to be with the child? Yes, she was, yes. She was, been, she was with her the whole time. She was on this side. Well, she's, she, apparently there was nobody here, because it's empty, right? There's nobody here. I, well, because she's gone. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Where's Brittany? You can't give me a phone number. Everybody's got a phone number, a cell phone these days. The suspect couldn't give details about her cousin Brittany when asked by the officer. The deputy noted that everyone has a social media account and a phone number. Okay, what did you say? It didn't answer. Nobody answered. Okay, and you don't have an address for her? No, I don't. Nothing. So I you just know as Brittany Collins. Yes, Does she right. have a Facebook? Let me see if I can find it. I don't even really have a Facebook. Okay, does she have an Instagram, a Snapchat? I gotta be able to identify her to her, her to you know verify your story because No, I don't have Facebook, I don't have an Instagram. I got a Snapchat, but I don't have my own Snapchat. Okay. And you don't have an address of where you picked her up from? It's just off the show and she gave me directions. That was it. She called you? Let me yes. see. If I got it in. You got any recent calls? Wait, I'm trying to see. Today. There's no calls from that number that you provided me. Okay. No, because you have... she didn't call me from that number, that's why. What number did she call you from? Because look, there's this number you called at 920. Well, I'm sorry, right. I have a at, habit of right. just deleting numbers at, too. Okay, well, that 10, was her cousin right. number. And then at 1016, you called Nicole, and she called you, then you called Nicole back at 1037. You received a call at 1121, and then you made two calls just right now where we're standing here to Tanya. So yeah. at that point in time, did you receive any other call from I any other I told you I deleted person? numbers. Why do you delete numbers? All these other numbers are here. Because I, if it's not, that's her cousin number. Why would I keep her cousin number okay. in the phone? So you're telling me there was somebody in the car the whole time. That, that, that Those cameras are going to show. You understand okay. me? Did you look at them? No, we haven't because the owner's coming to get them. All right. That's a, that's a story you want to tie yourself to. That's fine. That's on you, not on me. The deputy reminded the suspect that being honest is the best approach and that lying could worsen her situation. Okay, trying to, like I said at the beginning, honesty is the best policy. Well, you're sitting here lying to us. My phone? Yeah. I'm going to lock it. All right. So, yes or no? Well, That's your story? Sorry. No, I don't know it. What's your story then? Worry, don't worry about it. Hmm? Worry about me. What's your story? I'm, what I'm talking to you. That's what I'm trying to figure out. If you sit here and lie to me, it's not going to go good. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, there was nobody with you. There was nobody with you. So you left the child here all by yourself, by itself, while you went in there and played in the arcade. Yeah, it was, I wasn't trying to take too long. I was going to leave, but obviously somebody called in on me. Yeah, it doesn't matter, exactly. You went in there to play an arcade game. You said you've been here since 11.30. Did you actually go to Bank of America? Yes, I did. Okay, you went to Bank of America? Yeah, I got the receipt. Let me, Let me see. see. Let me see. So you, you, you withdrew $320 mm -hmm. at 12.08 hours, right? How long is the drive from Bank of America to here? It's maybe five minutes, right? Oh, no, they closed that off. Okay, so 10 minutes. 
it doesn't matter, right? 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so at 1208, you got back here at 1220. Okay. And what time it is now? It is 146. All right, so I got here. I'll look at the time. So the baby's been in there for over an hour. You get know what I'm saying? Probably about, yeah. Probably, no, I know. All right. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is what's all going to do? So this is what's probably going to happen. All right. You see if it's going to come out here to pick up the child. I, my mom is at work right now. I can have her come get her. Okay, so look, this is what's going to happen for right now. All right, and I'm going to be brutally honest with you. DCF, you That's up to DCF. That's not up to us. All right. So right now, do you want to put your phone in your purse real quick for me? Take your purse off for me. Why can I have my phone? What's that? Why can I hold my phone? Because as of right now, I need you to place your hands behind your back. You are being arrested. All right. Oh. Put them together. Turn them inwards, just like that. All right. You might have to lean a little bit forward. I'll stay with her. You want to follow up on that? Um, I just want to check it. Is there anything in here that shouldn't be in here? Anything illegal, narcotics, drugs? No, nothing but my money. Nothing but your money. I'll just take it up there. Yeah, kind of do it real quick. Watch your room. I'll put that one in there. Hey, do you have any formula in the car? Because the infant was in poor health, the deputies purchased some formula to feed the baby. What kind of formula she use? She used Infamil. Infamil, which one? The purple one or the regular the orange, orange one? It doesn't matter? Because yeah. she's she doesn't, um, she's not allergic to anything? No, the bottles. Are bottles in the car? Well, it's, it's old now, the one right goes back. I'm gonna get her up here, right? 32-year-old Bianca Kimyata Lockett was arrested and charged with two counts of felony child neglect. The court ruled that she couldn't contact her child without permission from the DCF or Florida Department of Children and Families, setting her bond at $50,000. As we've seen, there's a price to pay when terrible mothers think they're above the law and neglect their kids. We've got more body cam bust videos lined up, so stick around and keep watching.